Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and I joined right by the side. So today I will be talking about how to prevent period leaks. How to prevent period stains. Well, that's the same thing. So yes. I would say 80% of women have period leaks and 60% of women with a wrong size pad. Including me, I used to wear the wrong size pad and I still have period leaks. But a way to prevent all that and like once you do it once, you'll be able to get it twice the third time. you get accustomed to it so you won't have any period stains, period leaks, anything like that. It to prevent period stains is by wearing the right size pack. I believe each packet is supposed to have the size range from like extra small, small, medium, large and extra large. Ooh. The cortex, if you use the cortex pads, well, to me that's like one of the best pads, the cortex pads, that's like one of my favorite pads, and also the stay free. On the, the cortex pads, at the sides, you'll see size free, so if you want size free pads, that's also helpful, and also, well, the size pads I just normally wear is size 1, size 2, and size 3. But on my light days, I just wear size 1, size 2. And on my heavy days at night, I wear a size 3. And also, what size underwear you are wearing, that will also help you a lot. So if you're wearing, well, I'm a size small when it comes to my underwear because I'm small. And you may have the same thing. You may wear a size small, a size extra small, a size small, a large, a medium. Like I said, it all depends on what kind of underwear you are wearing, what type, what size underwear you are wearing. So that will help you a lot to determine exactly what size pad to get. So like I said, I'm a size small, I have a size, I have a really small bottom, so I would wear a size one, a size two, and a size three. But like I said, the size three is on my heavy days, and the size one is like on my light days. So when I first get my period, so, so if I have to go to the store and pick up what size pad should I wear, I will get a size small. Like I said, you'll see it on the side. I don't say a size 3, so I would get a size 1, a size 2, a size 3. And you may get a size 4, a size 5. That's all up to you because like you big and I small. So, so yes. And also, to me, that's like, get those with the wings. It will help you a lot when you're on your period, especially when you're on your heavy days. You should get those with the wings. I have those with the wings. That's what I mean when I say get those with the wings that have wings. And ordinary pads don't have wings. So get those with the wings. It will really help you a lot when you're on your period because like, you don't want a pad without wings and like the pad keeps shifting, like the pad not staying in place. You don't want that because that can actually cause you to have period stains and you don't want that. So, And last tip I want to leave with you guys is to also wear tight underwear when you are on your period. Like I said, if you have those without the wings, by having a tight underwear that will really help you so the underwear stay in I mean the pad will stay in place so get tight underwear when you're on your period because you want you wouldn't want a sack underwear when you're not when you are on your period because like the pad wouldn't stay the right place and that can cause a lot of period stains so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe